Hi, today we're going to take a look at uh, the desktop on Windows. And I know you can't see the whole desktop here, but we're going to take a look at some of the important parts. First of all, let's take a look at uh, this blank area here. The big blue area I'm showing you here is uh, called the desktop itself. It's really just a folder in Windows, but Windows, uh, for each user that logs into Windows, Windows creates uh, one special folder for them, and that's what that user sees when they log in, and that's called the desktop. So any folders or files that are contained in that desktop folder uh, are shown to you when you log in as your desktop. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the recycle bin. Uh, this is an important part of the desktop. It's almost always there. It's there by default. Uh, and of course, we open up the recycle bin, which I won't do now. Or I, okay, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, so I have lots and lots of, um, of things in my recycle bin. Of course, in the recycle bin, I can right-click and I can undo delete. Okay, so that's right clicking on a file. I can also empty re recycle bin. If I highlight an item, I can also restore this item. If you see this button right here, restore this item. If you restore an item, it goes back to the folder in which you deleted it out of. So if I had, if something was in my documents and I deleted it, it doesn't, isn't actually deleted off the disk, off your hard disk, it's sent to the recycle bin, which is just a folder in Windows. Uh, and it sits there until I do what's called empty the recycle bin. If I right click on the recycle bin and click empty recycle bin, that is going to delete everything permanently off the hard disk. Now, is it really removed off the hard disk? No, in fact, it's just the pointer to it is removed, but we can go into that later. Uh, but so uh, once you click empty recycle bin for all, all beginning computing purposes, it, the, fi the file or folder is gone at that point. But it's great because just don't empty your recycle bin that often if you have a large hard disk. That way, if anything goes wrong later on, you can go and get uh, the files that you deleted. Okay, so coming down to this area at the bottom left-hand corner, usually, uh, you notice, you, notice uh, you, can't actually, uh, um, you can't actually move this bar down here if you so choose. Most people don't choose to do that. Um, so this is... Uh, this is the taskbar right here, and in Windows, you can actually pin things to the taskbar. That's the, the thing they use. So let's say I use this school folder all the time. I can right-click on here. Uh, interesting left, it does not say pin to taskbar. Uh, we can actually drag the school folder down onto the taskbar, and notice it says pin to Windows Explorer. Okay, so I can actually drop this uh, down onto the taskbar. I can drop this down onto the taskbar, and notice that now what will happen is if I uh, highlight this folder, if I click on, oops, if I go down to Windows Explorer, uh, oop, should, uh, give me a list of folders there. Oh, if I right click on it, sorry about that, if I right click on it, you'll see pinned, you can see school right here. Okay, so uh, that is the that is the um, pinning a folder to that taskbar. I can also pin uh, applications. So if I have the one application here, like um, Microsoft Excel, Excel, I could right click and click pin to taskbar, and notice that now Excel is going to appear down in this taskbar. And this is a very convenient way to have applications or folders appear. Now I can also once I've pinned something down there, I can also right-click and unpin it from the taskbar. <coughs> so this is a very convenient way to have your uh, your applications right where you need them. Um, also, there are a lot of adjustments we can do to this taskbar. If I right-click on the empty space and click Properties, we get into a whole set of, of, uh, of, pro of uh, options for this taskbar. So, for example, if I, I can I've lock the taskbar, you can also auto-hide or use small icons. So if I change my settings a bit and click OK, notice that all of a sudden my icons are much bigger and auto hide actually notice that my taskbar is now gone and it only appears when I go down to the bottom of the screen. And this can help if you have a smaller screen and just need some more screen real estate as they say. So let's right click on the taskbar. I'm going to change mine back to auto hide off and use small icons on. And notice that we can also change the, the where the taskbar is located. Let's go ahead and click OK here. Oh, uh, also in these toolbar and start menu properties, you also have uh, 
some other options. These may or may not be available on your computer. So if you're using a computer that was given to you by your school or business, um, you, you may or may not have these options. But on a home computer, you do. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, probably the most important thing on your desktop is your start menu. What used to be called the start menu, it's still, if you hover over it, it's called start menu. We call it the Windows button. Uh, so the Windows button shows you a list of kind of favorite programs here. It shows you uh, some of the uh, system stuff, like the control panel, device and printer. This is where you'd go to, to add a printer, default programs, help and support. So it gives you a lot of default locations that are the, lo you know, the important locations on your computer. Um, this Windows, I know it says Windows on mine, that's just the name of my user. This is your personal folder, uh, the documents folder, that's where my documents is. And then more importantly, even the all programs. So if you click all programs, this is everything that's installed on your computer. So it's extremely convenient. The, the Windows button is probably the most important control on your computer for a, for a beginning computer user. This is if you install a new program, it will, by default, always show up in this all programs menu here. Um, and you can right click on this list uh, and you can, um, I'm looking for it here. Okay, so from here you can also pin to this task bar or you can pin to the start menu and that means pin it to the, the outside um, uh, menu when you first open the start menu. Okay, so those are the main features of the Windows button. Control panel, that's where all your settings for your computer are, devices and printers, that's where you add devices or printers. Uh, your personal folders, documents, pictures and music folders, as well as all your programs that are on your computer. So if you're looking for something, the all programs is really where you'd find it if you're trying to run a program that you can't see. Okay, let's click on the Windows button again. Okay, so now let's go to the last portion of our desktop. This is called the system tray. Oh, oh, sorry, this is something that people miss. This button is show desktop. If you have a lot of windows open, let's say that you have a, a Microsoft window button open, and I click on show desktop, that's going to close the window, and it's going to show me the desktop. Okay, so now let's take a look at the system tray. The system tray has um, has running programs on it. So these are things, this is a great place to look if you've installed some programs and your computer's slow, this is a great place to see what is running. So you can hover over these, see I'm hovering over these. So this is my wireless internet access, this is my battery life on my laptop, this is the um, Microsoft's, uh, it's like a security center, I can click on that. I'm sorry, the action center. Um, this is, shows you things that are you know, on your computer that might be a problem. Um, also, it'll show a lot of times things that are running. So this is where your antivirus shows up. Um, Adobe, you know, for this is, Adobe tends to run things on your computer uh, at startup. So these are all different things that are running on your computer at, at any given moment. Um, it's a very good place to, to look for slowdowns, for system slowdowns. If you have a lot of icons that you're not sure what they are down in the system tray, uh, it's a great place to start in uninstalling things or stopping things from starting when they start up. Um, and then we have, of course, the date. The date and time is, an, it's actually very important on your computer to have the correct date and time. A lot of uh, software packages depend on your computer having the correct date and time. Okay, uh, so that is an, an introduction to your desktop. I hope it was helpful and uh, good luck.